All was going swimmingly until one of our guests, who I'll call Elmer, raised his hand. This is a book I'm reading for fun, Elmer said. It represents freedom to me because the thing I feel most constrained by is my homework. This Passover, I want to focus on experiencing freedom from homework. The bolt of rage I felt in that moment was clarifying, electrifying, and in retrospect, kind of funny because I too often felt constrained by homework in college. You'd think I might have related to Elmer, but actually what I felt deeply and in my bones was that Elmer had spoken words of purest heresy. Passover, as I practiced it, was not about freedom from homework. It was about freedom from actual slavery and other forms of systemic oppression. Topics of conversation I believed were appropriate on Passover included human trafficking and how to stop it, the legacy of slavery and race-based discrimination and violence in American history and how to make reparations for it, and contemporary injustices and how to write them. What was Elmer thinking bringing up homework? And also, what did it say about Judaism that any Jewish person could possibly be left with the impression that homework and Passover were related? Of course, I didn't say anything in the moment. And by the time our Seder had come to a close, my righteous indignation had softened into bewilderment and eventually curiosity. Elmer had shared that every year on Passover, his family thought about what they personally felt most constrained by and what kinds of freedoms they hoped for in their lives in the year ahead. Where had they come up with this framing? As I have learned more over the years about the strains of Jewish tradition that speak about Mitzrayim, Egypt, as the narrow place, 